Boswell wrote a famous biography of Samuel Johnson, who was a great 18th century British author. In one passage of the uh, life of Johnson, he was the purgatory masses to the dead. Johnson tells Boswell that the idea of purgatory makes eminent sense to him. His reasoning is that the vast majority of people who die should not be judged so bad as to deserve hell, and nor so good as to deserve heaven. So he concludes there must be some kind of middle state where some sort of cleansing takes place. When asked about masses for those in purgatory, Dr. Johnson replies that it is as proper to pray for them as it is to pray for your sisters and brothers who are alive. How faithful do you pray for your deceased relatives and friends, not knowing whether they're in purgatory or not? And how do you pray for all the deceased that we are doing today? It's a good and holy deed to pray for the dead. I just wanted to add a little epilogue to that little homily. And that is, what if, safety, what if Samuel Johnson was correct? What if most people do not make it directly to heaven? Does that mean you shouldn't? Of course not. That's part of our saying, if you are what you should be, you set the world away. And hopefully, avoid some blazes 